Good morning, students. A very good morning to you. Today, we begin with a little revision of rectification of errors. This is the revision. As I had explained last time, it is very simple. You read the paragraph and try to find any error in each line that you read. The error could be related to an article, noun or a pronoun, tenses or gender. Think about it and find the error and on the right side there is a column of correction. Make the correction in it. This is very simple related to your textbook. You can try practicing this in your notebook. So this is a little revision of four paragraphs of rectification of errors. Then we come to essay writing. Now we really need practice in writing. So I have chosen a topic changes in the year 2021. That is the changes that you saw in the last year and the coming year or the beginning of this new year that is 2021. So first paragraph you will write about the introduction, what was the whole thing, the pandemic, how it started, how we were all unaware of the whole thing, then we got scared. So the beginning paragraph has to be really small and interesting. The main paragraph can be a little bigger. That is how the pandemic changed our lives. We started having more of family time. We started enjoying home cooked food. We even got into the routine of working from home. Social distances and distancing became the most important or the required thing. Mask became our second nature. Now small gatherings started, no huge parties or big weddings. We switched to old age remedies, that is the remedies which our ancestors used to incorporate in their everyday life. We switched to that, that is taking steam, inhaling steam every day or using ginger, turmeric in our daily routine to increase our immunities. We even started doing pranayama and yoga. So these are the little changes which we started almost everyone started in their daily life another long paragraph will be the concluding paragraph that is the last paragraph how the whole world and including yourself have now adjusted to it are you happy about it or uh, how it has helped you to grow in your life how Small things which you didn't even have time for have started becoming really important for you. And how so many people, the frontline workers that I've written, frontline workers are the doctors, the police, the medical staff, means not only doctors, the nurses and even the other helpers who like kind of worked 24-7 for months together to overcome this difficult period, looking after the sick, testing. We had free testing centers which saw long lines of people standing outside for getting any kind of test done related to the coronavirus. So all these people who worked selflessly for our health or to maintain the routine in our life, how we started looking at them with a lot more respect all these things, you know, think deeper and then please write a nice essay. I don't want a whole history of what you did at home. Uh, but think and write something really interesting and nice. I've said use your thoughts, words, adjectives to form the essay and don't deviate. Deviate means don't go away from the topic. Stick to the topic. Keep reading the heading and come back to the topic. Use your insight to frame correct sentences. Insight means think deeply and frame short, correct sentences with the correct English basically in proper past and the present tense. Why present? Because we are using the year 2000 
and 21 also. Then we have another topic and that is what we discussed in the class that is I'm sorry with the students last Thursday plans for your future it can be a simple thing like what you want to do when you grow up but we don't frame it like that it is called plans for the future every must everyone must have planned something what they are going to do how they are preparing for it so this is something which is not new to you but I want you to write in a better way First is the introduction part, the various thoughts that came in your mind since you were growing up, since you were 10, 11 years old, right up to this age. What have you been thinking all the time? What do you want to do when you grow up? How are you going to do it? What do you find interesting in life? The second main important paragraph will be the plan. Means if you have thought about something, how did you think about it? What inspired you? Certain actions or certain people, certain programs. You must have gone to a particular place. All these things could have inspired you to be or to want to be something in future. So that is something I want to know. The steps then you are taking. Say if somebody says I want to become a cricketer. So now what are you doing to do that? What are the steps? I'm practicing 8 hours every day. I don't eat outside food. I don't waste my time. Whatever you are doing, I look after my body, my health. Whatever you are doing in that direction to go ahead. How will your chosen profession, very important, all the cricketers think about it. How will your chosen profession lead you to social, emotional and financial success? Means whatever you are choosing right now. Is it going to bring you any kind of happiness or how will you grow with that? See, it can be even social service. You need not be financially very happy about it, but it's going to give you a lot of emotional and social happiness. So it can be anything. Think deeper, dig deeper. Don't just write every what everyone is writing or what is there in your essay book. Okay, I want to you to use your mind, your insight, your thoughts and your sentences. Please, don't copy it from the internet or from any kind of essay book or from your tuition teacher. No, I don't want them. I want your ideas. And then end it in a nice way. Let us see how well you can do it. Please put some effort into this writing. Please. Last is report writing. And that report is a theft you witness. Report writing should be of one page. It need not be very long. But please begin it nicely in the sense the beginning should be a place that you visited or like I discussed in class last time, you could be studying at home late in the night and you witness some noise or you witness somebody going, move some kind of movement and then you become curious and you lean out of the window or whatever and you witness something or you see something. And that turns out to be a theft or a crime. So use your imagination to, you know, explain or write this report. It could be even at some place, like I was discussing with the children earlier. You could have gone to a mall or um, an exhibition. Mummy is busy shopping and you are like feeling bored. So you sit in a corner uh, looking in your mobile or just looking around and suddenly you see some kind of theft happening so that is what you will describe in one page and how did you try to prevent it it's not necessary that all the time only you can do it but you can make some noise you can make people around you aware very discreetly discreetly means using your mind you try to alert the people around you and try to prevent the theft or at least try to catch the person who is doing some kind of a robbery or a theft. So think about it, frame it nicely and write it down. That is your report writing. So this is what we have. I think this is enough for the time being. But I still want you to do this practice. Please, till we meet again, please write this in your notebook using your imagination. That's okay for now. See you. Bye.